Hey guys, what's up? This is Honky, and this is something new for y'all um, on our YouTube page. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being loyal. And anyone else who's watching this, please make sure to check and subscribe late. Yes, that is right. You are reading that correct. This is a Red Dead Redemption review. Yes, the game has been out for a while, but I just recently got Gamefly, which is a great, great service uh, provider. Same behind Netflix. And uh, this game is amazing. This game is freaking huge. As you can see here in two seconds, the map is freaking large. Look at that. That whole map is like you can go on that whole map. Um, except for the top left, as that is like just picture. Um, but anyways, so basically in this game, you are an ex-bandit. As you can see here, he's riding the horse. This is in Mexico, this part of the game. You start the game out in Americas, and uh, you're basically going around helping out these colorful people. And I say colorful. Um, one is a grave digger that uh, talks to dead people. Uh, that's pretty colorful if you ask me um, you uh, help out this potion guy who makes these miraculous crap tastic things um, That don't do shit and they both crap you and he tries to and he you help him sell it for a little bit This game takes you all over the place. There's so many side missions. You could go bananas um, Just getting to Mexico took me about eight hours of playtime in game and uh that is at least a day and a half of actual time play. But the main guy's name is... John Marston. And he is an ex-bandit, as I said before. He's an ex-bandit. He's uh, trying to get back to his wife and kids. I will not ruin the story for you guys if you're watching it. But um, basically what you have to do is help out these people to achieve your goals. Your goal is, is to find and kill this bandit that was your friend who tried, who left you for dead twice, and his name is John Williamson. Um, 90, 100% sir. <laughs> 100%, you heard that. Um, but now, this game, the good parts are very good. Everything is good, it's made from Rockstar. If you like Grand Theft Auto, you will love this game. Um, this game is outstanding. The scenery is amazing, the music is great. Everything about this go game is good, but we're gonna get to the bad parts, and the bad parts are atrocious. <laughs> the bad parts are the horses. <laughs> As you can see me bouncing back and forth there, it is atrocious to ride the horses. I personally got furious at this game multiple times, and just because the horses were bad, I am going to lower my rating on this, which will you you will hear at the end of this video. The aiming in this game is really good. Um, if you if you're a casual gamer, it is very easy to uh, to do this. All you got to do is pop shot your your left trigger, your aiming trigger. Um, if you don't know what that means, that is you just keep clicking the L trigger near enemies, and it'll automatically lock onto them. And, uh, you know, when you're on the horse, it's a lot easier, but it's still a pain in the ass to keep clicking the A button to make your horse go. Because you got to keep tapping the A button to make him run fast or hold the A button down and then keep, pop, you know, popping each trigger. Left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, shoot, aim, shoot, aim, shoot, blah, blah, blah. It's just a pain in the butt. But um, this game overall is a very, very good game. Um, uh, Rockstar did a good job on this game. Personally, if you ever played Gun which was the first Western game for the Xbox 360. I bought that game as soon as it came out with the Xbox in 2005, uh, excuse me, Xbox 360, and it was very, very fun. I wasted my whole life on that game. <laughs> and uh, th this is something new, what we're doing here, and it's reviews on games that aren't competitive. Um, the reason being is because I play game battles, Schloppy plays game battles, but... You never see us play these single player games, so we're going to have a better, you know, understanding for what people in the competitive scene want to see. This game, if you don't have a lot of time and you're mostly worried about game battles or playing Call of Duty, then this game is not for you. Do not get this game. But if you have time and you want to take time away from Call of Duty, 
please, please, please get this game. This game is very good. It is long. It'll keep you. The storyline is good. The people are morons in the game. It is a very good game. So my final, final thought on this game is that this game isn't perfect. There are many flaws, but the game still gets an 8.5 out of 10. And the reason being is... Some most games aren't perfect, but this one made me laugh, and it should make you laugh too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.